वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास ट्वेल्थ सो वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास हेयर सो टूडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टिन्यू द राइटिंग स्किल्स क्वेश्चन इन्विटेशन एंड देयर रिप्लाईज एज आई हैव डिस्कस विद यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो दैट वी आर डूइंग इट बेड बाय बेड सो दैट यू शुड हैव द क्लैरिटी ऑफ हाउ टू राइट एन इन्विटेशन विद डैट इन्वाइट एंड रिप्लाई एंड इन रिप्लाई विद यू आर एक्सेप्टिंग इट और रिफ्यूजिंग इट यू नीड टू मैंशन so formal category we have already completed informal we are doing it in the previous video lecture we did informal invite but here we are doing informal reply so as i mentioned right now also in reply you need to mention acceptance or refusal so this question today which we are going to do is of refusal so in the same manner you can write it for the acceptance too right so remember as i discussed earlier informal invite is a short informal letter where you can use first person very easily and you need to give the specific reason that why you're not attending or whether you will be able so you how much you are happy <coughs> so here once again everything will be in a box so format will be same first send is address date and dear friend you are writing it So see whatever details have been given to you in the question, you need to use all the details while framing your answer. Now here, if you remember the previous question, because I have written the reply for that only, the previous question was that you are inviting your friend to your place because you got to know that after a gap of long years, around five years, your friend is visiting to uh, that place, so you are inviting him for a dinner. So now your friend is replying to it. Remember. either you need to invite or reply any one thing will be there in the question so now invite has been given now friend is replying so send us address date dear friend so listen here i was really delighted feeling very happy to receive your invitation for dinner so first of all that friend is uh, explaining about his feelings that feeling very delighted that i got your invitation for dinner on 30th november 2020 at 8 pm even now he is mentioning that what's his feeling first he was very happy to receive that invitation now what's his feeling whether he is interested to meet or not even i can't wait to meet you and your family so he said even i want to meet you and your family uh, uh, i even want to give the gratitude the uh, 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 to your family uh, the regards to your family but now as i mentioned this we are doing it for the refusal part but i have to leave for pune on the same day now he is saying although i am coming to that place but on the same day i am leaving for pune to meet my sister as she is not well and giving the reason also as my sister is not well so on the same day i am leaving for the pune please accept my regret so feeling regret so uh, requesting him to accept his request the loss is entirely mine and writing even i am feeling really bad that i can't meet you <coughs> hope to see you in the near future and giving the hope also that might be in the near future they can meet leave two lines yours affectionately and the name and close the book so in this manner you need to write <coughs> see in the fusion first you are telling you are very happy that you got this invitation then what's your feeling whether you want to meet or not so want to meet your family now giving the reason not telling whether you are accepting or refusing it but i have to leave so mentioning that i have to go to the other uh, pune to meet my sister so giving the reason also well explained reason as she is not well so please accept my regrets please accept my apology and uh, loss is entirely mine because you invited me and i'm not able to come but i'm really hoping that we would meet in the future too and there you will end it up suppose you're writing for the acceptance right suppose everything even i can't wait to meet you and your family so then later on what you can write yeah sure i would really come to your place or we can say that we should go somewhere to enjoy it and we would recall or uh, cherish or uh, our childhood memories and we would try to enjoy as much as we can or will introduce our our uh, uh, families to each other once again so in this manner you can even write for it so i really hope it's clear to you if you are having any doubt please ask and clear your doubts for it because as i mentioned earlier also this is a very very important question 
mandatory one in the boards according to the new pattern so you can't avoid it so please see to it any doubt ask me and send the worksheet to me before 9 a.m god bless you all thank you